What's up guys? My favorite oil cleanser. My skin is still dry. You have to deal with this guys. It's only $20. Super pricey. Massaging my face. Finally found a great eye cream which I love. back to my bathroom I am so so excited for this video because I never done a get and ready with me and I get a lot of skincare questions so I thought it would be a good idea to like incorporate this kind of video in my channel because I have a video of my skincare routine in the morning but I feel like my skincare in the evening is kind of different and as important as the morning one so that's what we're gonna do today as you see I came back from the shoot I have a lot of makeup on even eyelashes which I never do by myself just a heads up have a broken nail i thought that will make me cancel my shooting today but i saw that my broken nail will not mess up my youtube schedule so yeah it's kind of like pushing through with your confidence i guess because before like i don't know five years ago if that would happen to me i probably would cancel the shooting and would just respond it to another day when my nail looks good but now you have to deal with this guys rock and nail so guys let's go first step we're gonna remove the makeup i love double cleanse i love when the skin feels clean but not dry okay because my skin is quite dry naturally so i have to be always very careful with what i'm using so first step i always do is bioderma you can find this in drugstores amazon i don't know sometimes i feel like on amazon they have fake products so i'm very careful with buying cosmetic on amazon so i usually order it from sephora so i like to remove with cotton pads first layer of makeup so I know the eyelashes will be hard to remove right now with this Bioderma cleanser but when we're gonna get into removing it with oily product because I'll show you my favorite oil cleanser oh my god my lash is coming off already actually maybe it will come off with the Bioderma but I never pull my lashes because I don't wanna remove my own lashes with, with the glued one oh god I look crazy so first step I feel like I need to remove this light on there Okay, as you see, the cotton pads are very dirty, so we definitely cleanse already skin. Next step, favorite oil cleanser. I usually hate oil cleanser, actually, because very often with oil cleanser, after you wash your face, like you wipe it with a towel and there will be still makeup on. This cleanser turns kind of a little bit foamy when you touch it with water. So at the beginning, it's kind of like oil, which is great because it gives me an opportunity to massage my face and kind of really go around the area which has a lot of makeup, like eyes or whatever. And once I rinse it with water, it really comes off. And when I wipe it with towel, there is absolutely no makeup left, which I love and appreciate in products because cleanser should clean the face. Also, great thing about this product, it's only 20 dollars which is amazing great quality it's called fig one mitler oil cleanser so i take about two pumps and then i just go over massaging my, massaging my face just like that i honestly like to take at least like a minute and a half two minutes to just like massage it because i do feel like it's important to melt the makeup eyes area especially with lashes we need to get this glue off okay now that we massaged our oil in we're gonna go and wash it off okay now that i just rinse my oil cleanser i'm gonna go over with towel if i dry show you the towel literally no makeup left i still have it on my eyes because it's been a waterproof mascara so it's kind of hard to remove it so i'll just take a little bit more bioderma and just go over the eyes just because it really takes a long time to remove this waterproof mascara it's one of these things i don't own waterproof mascara ever so only they put it only on jobs because i guess you sweat even so i don't really sweat i mean i do but not as much to remove the makeup remove the mascara okay so first step cleansing is done i need to have put my 
your hair down. Give it a little head massage, kind of important too. After a long day in like a ponytail, important to massage your hair and improve circulation. So guys, now that the cleansing is done and my face is super clean, I'm gonna go into applying the products. Okay, so first step is gonna be hyaluronic acid serum. I honestly always kind of rotate and change my skincare routine according to how my skin feels. Today I feel like after being all day on the beach, on the sun, working and changing the makeup, my skin really needs some extra hydration. So I'll be using Dr. Barbara's term, hyaluronic acid serum. It looks like that. Okay, I really love this serum because it absorbs very well. Down part about this serum is pricey it's like super pricey i don't even want to think about it how pricey it is but i really like the product i honestly found a good alternative to this product as well which is hyaluronic acid by ordinary Ooh, why it's so bright i love this ordinary hyaluronic acid as well the one thing that i still think barbara's term is better is because as i said it absorbs better it doesn't have like a sticky feel to your face meanwhile this one has a little so i really cannot put this for a day for a night it's kind of fine for a day i prefer this but of course if you compare it totally different price points but honestly kind of the same thing so those two highly recommend so now that i apply the sterm serum hyaluronic acid serum i wait until it absorbs which it did already next step face cream i recently i mean not too recently actually probably two three months start using this cream it's called good night cream by lendava i hope I pronounce it correctly looks like this super cute bottle let's just appreciate the design i love this cream as i said because it's also very light texture but very moisturizing but one thing about my skin like i have i don't have really problematic skin but it's kind of difficult especially after pregnancy it became really difficult to find the right product because my skin is still dry but if i put too much of a heavy cream my pores start to clog so it's important to find a balanced cream which is moisturized but doesn't let your pores clog too much so i feel like this cream is great and i've been using it for three months probably and i've been loving it it's actually my second bottle great thing about this cream is also they sell kind of inserts so you can change the inside of a inside of the inside and have the new cream put in so you can keep the beautiful bottle so great idea of not wasting a beautiful bottle and also the plastic waste of course so i like the same here to give it myself a little massage not sure if i'm doing it correctly but i think something like that also let's not forget about the neck important part i'm going into my late 20s so i feel like i have to really give it give everything to preserve this youth so neck and here okay so now the cream is on next step eye cream also eye cream i have a very interesting like stories with eye cream like very often i would be allergic to eye creams or it would be like too heavy for me finally found a great eye cream which i love also the same bread as the cleanser fig one it has actually a little bit of retinol i think it's a very small percentage because this cream you can also use during day love this cream because it doesn't feel heavy feels moisturized also great price point why not applying a little bit on my hands first and i'm just doing this with tapping motions i used to like drag the skin like this but actually one of the estheticians told me like what are you doing you gotta tap this thing not drag it and stretch the delicate skin under your eyes so from that day on i started to tap I let this absorb and whatever I have left honestly just put it in my neck my neck gets all the leftovers <laughs> okay so we did the eye cream next lips i've been kind of showing this a lot i'm using this laneige lip balm i also have sleeping mask from the same brand love the texture and guys last step is gonna be this spray it's a hydrating face mist by barbara stern feels good I also love the spray during the day, like especially if it's a hot day, it kind of feels nice to refresh your skin. And very last step, sorry guys. I love to put this oil from Atma. It's a lavender and comfort, comfort oil? I don't 
know how to pronounce this, but it's it smells very good and very relaxing. Feels like I'm in a spa. Actually, Alma is not Alma. Alma. Alma uh, aromatherapy brand is from Miami, so I love to support locals. But it's really awesome products too. So I just do a generous amount, spread it in my hands, and I just love it to go like here. So when I sleep and when I fall asleep, I have this like lavender aroma. Feels nice. Okay, guys, I think that's pretty much it. That was my nighttime routine. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm gonna go and give my time to my husband because I haven't seen him the whole day. I also have to finish the dinner, just put my baby to sleep. Another two hours of staying up. I'm gonna go to sleep early today. Because tomorrow is an early wake up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Very glad I didn't cancel this video due of my broken nails. So thank you for staying patient. I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions regarding skincare products. Love you. Ciao.